everybody. Thanks so much for checking this video out. Before we dive in, just wanna give a quick shout out to our friends at Gather Content for supporting this community. That's what makes it free for all of us to hang out, enjoy, learn, connect, etc. cetera. Um, Gather Content is a very cool content operations tool. So if you're producing a lot of content, if there are, maybe you're producing different types of content, blog posts, emails, social copy, et cetera. Uh, maybe there's a couple different people that have uh, roles in their content production, writers, editors, maybe someone else approving things. Um, it's really good to bring all those people into one place to use the same tool and the same process. Keeps everybody on the same page, makes everything run a lot smoother. You can build all your own workflows within Gather Content. You can create your own templates. You do all your writing inside of Gather Content as well. There's a uh, commenting feature and link sharing just like there is in Google Docs, but then you can cut down on the email, the Slack, the spreadsheets you might be using for the planning and the passing things back and forth. So I was very impressed and uh, would encourage folks to check it out. If you do want to try it, you can use the code SUPERPATH when you check out. That'll give you a $299 credit towards any of their plans. Um, I will get out of the way. Thanks so much again to the folks that gather content and go check out the tool. I think you'll really like it. Is there anything, Angus, that we didn't talk about that you want to show us in gather content? Um, potentially, potentially one thing I could show you, which is kind of interesting because it's in beta, so it's like a preview, um, is a feature we're working on called components. So like obviously content is more structured nowadays, people are working more granular stuff. Um, so what we've been doing is rather than just creating templates, which I showed you, so like in this project, for example, we've got a student article template that can be applied to loads of items. You can really quickly create new student articles, produce them, put them into the workflow. Cool. Um, what we've noticed, and I'm sure a lot of people sort of listening and watching are familiar with is this idea of like more granular content structures, like dealing with components and being more flexible in the way they produce content. So we're kind of very much believe in that philosophy and in order to support it more as well as templates we're now created this concept of a component so for example here i can see one component um called bio and it just contains two fields um let's actually name them name description um and i can save that as a component and that means I can then reuse that across my project mm -hmm. in different templates, which is super cool. So I could create like 10 components. I kind of see them as like Lego bricks. And that means when I'm creating a new article, I could have like a header component, a pool quote component. Um, I could have like a body, I could have a metadata component for SEO terms, for example. Yeah. And it means I can just be a lot more flexible in the way that I'm creating articles in this example um, and allow people to have like more interesting content essentially, but at the same time ad adhering to standards. So you know that every header is going to be, you know, X amount of words and it's going to fit into a certain tone of voice, but you can have them in different orders and things like that. So that's very much like, I guess, the direction the web's kind of going in and something we're trying to support more. That's really um, cool. That's, a, I feel like that's a great example. That, that's a great example of just like the type of thing that like you, you don't, you may not realize how often you do the same couple things over and over and over again, um, or at least follow the same structure or format for something that is more or less templatized. Um, so I love that. It seems like a great little time saver. Totally. It's kind of like, just like a sub template. Um, and yeah, super fun. Even if you want to use it for like tags, it's really nice because you can just update tags everywhere in one place. Um, and yeah, it should be released like next month, really. Cool. Or early next month. Yeah, cool. That's awesome. I can't wait to see that live. Angus, appreciate it. It's great to meet you. It's very cool to see gather content in action. And uh, I think I speak for everyone in the SuperPath community when I say thanks for the support and thanks for building a tool that could save folks a ton of time. Nice. Thank you for having us and a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Cool. Take care and we'll chat soon. Cool. Yeah. Thanks very much. Have cool. So there you go. Just want to give one more quick shout out to our friends at Gather Content. Just as a reminder, if you do want to try it out yourself, gathercontent.com, use the code SuperPath at checkout. You'll get a $299 credit. Thanks so much, everybody, and take care.